Okay, this is the Great Mosque in, it's also called Majid uh, Jama. It is in Isfahan, Iran. And this is a very different mosque than what we saw with Cordoba in that it's a different type of a plan. This is a, called a Four Iwan Mosque. And it was, the construction began around the 700s, but um, we see renovations occurring to this mosque over um, from the 11th century on to the 20th century. So there's definitely been renovations with br brick, wood, plaster, ceramic, and tile. And so these, all of these architectural changes that occur in this region, we can kind of see almost this timeline of, of historical architectural innovations that have been incorporated into this mosque in particular. So it's technically constructed over time by four dynasties, but the first being the Seljuks. And the Seljuk Turks architecture is characterized by elaborate brickwork and then the incorporation of the four Iwan plan. You can see how it's spelled Iwan at the top. Uh, and that's the importance of tiles and decoration and elements. Uh, Isfahan was the capital of the ruling dynasties. And the site of the mosque was originally a Christian church. And then it became a mosque. And now it's revised into becoming a much larger mosque and really this focal point of the city of Isfahan. It originally just a hypostyle um, mosque was here, but it was revised later to enclose all four sides. And then later the four Ewans were added to the courtyard. This mosque represents a different style. Uh, compared to the hypostyle mosque, uh, the four Ewan mosque is the adding of these four rooms right here. You could see in the red and those four Ewans open up into this large courtyard. And then you can see that here um, on this photograph of it where you could see the large courtyard in between the uh, different rooms. So in the, I'm sorry, an Iwan is a vaulted space that opens on one side of the courtyard. And Iwans developed in pre-Islamic Iran where it was used in monumental and imperial architecture. Originally, an Iwan was a stage set for an enthroned king, and then later it became a lecture room area. Here the Iwans are grand portals, symbolizing the mosque on the other side. The main one is the one at the southwest, which leads to the Quibla wall. And we can see that this one right here is the Quibla wall. And um, in order for everyone to know that this is the area that faces Mecca, they have placed the two minarets right along the Quibla wall and um, above the Mirab. Uh, in the 11th century, hypostyle mosques started to convert um, into these four Iwan mosque style. So this kind of is the start of the new style of, of architecture for mosques and it reflects a broader development that's happening. Like a hypostyle mosque, the layout is arranged around a large open courtyard. However, each wall of the courtyard is punctuated by a monumental vaulted hall, which is the Iwan. And they're highly decorated and domes are placed above them. Some of the domes even have small oculus or oculi. Uh, and the Quibla wall is often uh, the largest and most ornately decorated. At Isfahan, the mosque two minarets flank the elaborate Quibla uh, Iwan. So this style became very widespread in the 12th century, replacing the hypostyle mosques, and the, the Iwan style is still used today. The distinct aspect of this mosque is its urban integration. It's positioned at the center of the old city of Isfahan, which, as I mentioned before, was the capital. And uh, the mosque sh is also shares walls with other buildings around its perimeter. And um, this became kind of this, because it's in the center, people began to use this as a place not just for prayer, but it becomes a pedestrian hub that 
uh, connects different parts of the city. So this facilitates public mobility and commercial activity. So the function of a mosque is for prayer, but this one becomes, the function becomes much more because of the fact that it is in the middle of an urban city um, alive with activity. And that ma makes it really stand out from what other mosques are. So in this picture here, down on here, you can see um, how it's just in the center of all of these different buildings. Uh, another distinguishing feature are these, uh, these are those small domes I was mentioning and uh, on the Ewans, and it gives it what they call like almost like a bubble wrap feature. You know how you press the bubbles on the bubble wrap and uh, from the sky so you can see it. Uh, this is the, the mirror and you can see how ornately decorated it is with the different color tiles, lots of use of blues, but the golds are punctuated here as well. And it's just a very beautiful and gorgeous mosque. Here's the Abulation Fountain, which is in the center of the courtyard in between the four Iwans. And um, so this one is a Persian style mosque. It's in Iran and it has been developing throughout from the time it was originally constructed in the, in the 700s all the way up until the 20th century.